what are the three signs that you're going to be rich one day? We're going to talk about those things in this video. So stay tuned. This is the David Will Show. Let's go. All right, welcome back. So what are the three signs that you will be rich one day? I'm here with Will Fan. He's a multi-million Nair entrepreneur here in Vancouver, BC. He's been featured in the Forbes magazine for the top 30 multi-million millionaires under the age of 30. He just recently turned 30. Congratulations. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> and um, so let's talk I don't about that. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what are the three signs I'd be rich one day? Number one. First one. Never give up. Um, I remember um, when we all started, um, you know, like we started with humble beginning, humble background, and the only thing that we had was really ourselves, right? And um, having that energy to work every day, every morning, every night, I think uh, a lot of people would give up. <laughs> Generally, they would give up if yes. it's something that they're not used to. Uh, you know, they, you know, I used to have friends that, you know, come out of school or, or they got embedded into the workforce most of their life. And the problem that they were having was they can't go outside the comfort zone. So, you know, uh, they provide, you know, they, they actually, um, they need the support of a job. They, you know, or um, people who are studying now in school, they, they follow a system just to hope that they can build a career, a future there. But then when they all come out, they almost literally give up. You know, it's not easy. We're going to have to work hard for it. We're building something for the future. And that's a fact. And most people, they don't, they can't perceive that. It's not, you know, in their realm of um, reality. So what we have to do is, you know, take it step by step and explain why and how. Um, but I see most time when people give up is usually um, that one disbelief that they have. and They take it as like it's the whole thing, right? Yeah, so I think to become successful, you have to do things that you're not used to doing <laughs> as a plain prerequisite if you want to be successful. You have to get out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You have to do something you haven't done before. You have to get skills that you don't have because if you had the skills already, you'd already be successful, right? So you need to get new skills. You need to get new opportunities. You need to do new things that you haven't done before, okay? And the thing is that when people do that, they give up. Mm -hmm. Because they're not getting the result that they want. Mm -hmm. They're not getting the success they want. Right? Let's say they want to get a new skill, like networking. Right? We talked about networking in our last video, how to overcome the fear of networking. That's a skill. You need to learn it. You need to practice it. So in order to, to get good at it, you have to take get out of your comfort zone so that you can get successful. In it. So the problem that people do is that um, they, they try it and then they fail. And then they said it's not working, and they yeah. Up. Yeah. If you look at um, the the bees and the fly uh, theory, the bees and the fly. So, so the flies actually um, they're stuck in one place. You put them in a jar, and if you put it up upright, right, and there's the exit. They can actually leave. They actually remain in the jar for whatever reason. <clears throat> Even if you turn it around. They still don't know how to come out of it. I didn't right. know that. Yeah, it's interesting. So okay. flies actually they stay in one area. So you ever walk in on the road or like a farm, you always see flies flying that same area, but they can keep flying anywhere they want, right? However, <clears throat> the bee inside actually will find its way out. It always will, right? So the little flies, those little little tiny flies, they actually they only know how to stick in one area, right? Mm -hmm. So you think about most people are like. With flies, right? They they're noisy, distracting. Their 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 focus at all, like in their in their mind. <laughs> so so we see that uh, quite often. And um, but I think the bee, he's gonna go hunt. He's gonna go provide for his, his hive. Goes look for you know honey and you know food, right? So he needs to get out and say, I need to go and produce. I have work to do, right? So that's the difference between a bee and a fly. So don't be the fly. Okay, so number one, never give up. That's the number one sign that you're going to be rich one day. So number two, number two sign of that you're going to become very rich one day is you are very resourceful. What does that mean to be resourceful? It means that you can solve problems creatively. Um, 
You're always going to encounter problems, but if you can't solve the problems creatively and differently than what however people have solved it, then you're going to have a tough time to be successful, and make any kind of money, or make any progress in, in your business. Yeah, so uh, being resourceful is so important. This is so key because if you really have nothing, like you start from zero, you really only have what's in your immediate vicinity and your immediate network. So, you know, this means, you know, not burning any relationship, friendship. This means, um, you know, don't go excessive on things that you might buy and you're not going to use it. Use whatever you have now and maximize that. You gotta be like, you gotta be like Tony Stark. Yeah. Okay. He, he was in a cave, he had a bunch of scrap material and he yeah. built his Mark I Iron Man. Yeah. To get out of the cave. Yeah. You build armor out of nothing. If you, if you if you want to stay in the cave, right? And if you want to get out of the cave, you need to be resourceful with what you have. That's right. And then create something, just like Tony Stark did. Exactly. If you if you don't, you're gonna get stuck in the cave. No, we're gonna die. You die in the cave. Yeah. So so if you're gonna start in your business and you want to figure out a way to get to the next level, right? You know, make a list of things that you have, right? What connection do you have? Who do you know? Um, or Write it down. Access to money. Access to other people's money, access to credit, access to products. What product, products do you have? What skills do you have? What did you study in school? What are your expertise part in? You know, um, you don't have to be the world's best, but let's say out of a hundred people, are you in the top ten people that know about a certain topic? Right? Um, it could be anything. Right? So, what's your expertise? What are your strengths? Mm -hmm. So, make a list of all of that, and then those are your materials. Those are, those are your raw materials, like. Like uh, Tony Stark in the, you know, in the cave, those are in raw materials. So you have all the raw materials. Then you can create a plan, make a blueprint, and say, How am I going to build my business so that I can get out of this cave, get out in the world to the next level, the next level of uh, lifestyle? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the third, final, and I, we think the most important uh, sign that you're going to be successful one day is dream big. <laughs> so, what this really means is. Um, I, I see this quite often, um, and a lot of people in the society, they don't believe in dreaming bigger. They think anything that's bigger, it's just delusional. It's an illusion, or it's like, a, you know, um, they, they feel that, oh, it's just, you know, it's a dream, you know, or it's not something that it can be realistically happening, right? So, so I think um, the most important thing that was lacking in this society now is, you know, dream bigger, expanding your mindset, expanding your your financial wealth mindset, right? Like, like you know, like some people actually haven't experienced you know, making more than ten thousand dollars a day, right? Some people haven't experienced even making a hundred dollar a day, right? So, so it really comes down to a different level of thinking. And, and back then, I remember when you know hundred dollars a day that was pretty good, you know, like you know, you're, you're a young teenager. But as you get older, you realize no, that's not, it's not enough. That's not, you know, you have to keep going for more, right? right? I remember one of the first books I ever read was The Magic of Thinking Big. If you haven't read that, I suggest you get that book, Magic of Thinking Big. And um, that really changed my perspective of how we think. Because the bigger that we think, then the more that we can achieve. So for example, today, or, or, or now, I make in one day what I used to make all year. You probably you too. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. Back then when I was younger, it was like, well, ten grand a year was that was also really good. But now you can do ten grand a day. That's yeah, way better. And now we do it easily. Mm -hmm. All right. And we never thought back then that we could achieve what we have now. Exactly. Yeah. Unless we thought and we, unless we dreamed really big, right? And now we have even bigger goals, right? And so you have multiple universes, like multiple people with different ideas and thoughts. Right, and just imagine you're you're the only guy thinking this big, while everyone's like thinking this minute. And so, I always quite see often was there's always more people thinking very small compared to guy who thinks. There's only one guy that always think big. Everybody around him was very very small, but but you can see that there's so many people that actually think so small that it actually imprisoned the guy who's thinking big. Like he one he's one to do more. He wants to build, you know. Uh, multi-million or billion dollar enterprise, right? And, you know, there's very few people that can think like that. There's very few. Yeah. 
Just imagine if nobody dreamt big, we wouldn't have anything today. Yeah, there's right. no infrastructure, no yeah. technology, right? no technology. Like for example, if Elon Musk never, never dreamt about making an electric car, you know, so successful, that we wouldn't have Tesla. Right? Exactly. Or Tesla himself, right? Yeah. We wouldn't have the, the, like Nikola Tesla, right? right. Like he didn't dream big. We wouldn't have. A, Basically, ninety percent of the right. technology we have today, like everything from radio yeah, to the semiconductors and Microsoft, you know, Bill's Gate. We didn't have them. We have no computer. Right? Computer technology wouldn't exist, right? Mm -hmm. guys like them, yeah. Right. So the bigger you dream, then the more opportunity comes your way, or the more ability to recognize opportunity. Exactly. Because if you have your eyes closed, if you close your eyes and you don't dream big, then even the opportunity like hits you in the face, you're not even gonna, even going to know. Mm -hmm. Or you would actually reject it. You actually say, oh, well, actually, um, I'm not ready for this. Or, I, or you kind of like sabotage yourself if you don't dream big because you want to stay small. You're too scared, too much fear. Yeah. Right? So dreaming big is like the opposite of fear. There's more fear, um, you know, going back to those small dreamers is because that much fear. And when there's more fear than courage, you only think of being this small, right? So. So you have to get rid of that. Um, most important thing is you know, increase your confidence and actually just keep thinking about it, keep dreaming about it every day. It's like going to the gym, your repetition, you have to increase your rep, you have to push that last weight, you know, you, that's the only thing you can grow. Right? So, <laughs> All right, so let's wrap up. So the three signs that you're going to be rich one day. Number one, you never give up. Number two, you're resourceful. And number three, you dream big. Right? Exactly. All right. So I hope that helps you out. And um, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel mm -hmm. and click on the notification bell to get all the latest videos coming out from the David and Will show. Yeah. Make sure you ask questions. If you have any questions about your own business, about your own, um, you know, personal development, then ask them in our comments. And then we're going to create a video just for you answer your questions yeah all right so please minutes. like our all our videos as well <laughs> yeah like all our videos share them comment comment and uh yeah until next time david will show peace